Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will watch the aftermath of Reagan Benson's recent arrest and Denver Metro Audits will even do some e-begging on her behalf, I think. Or maybe he's just opportunistic. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey everyone, thanks for coming in. We have, uh, as you can see of the title of this video, we got a crazy uh, episode for you today. Big Sister Regan Benson was arrested today. A lot of you guys already saw that on the live stream. So I saw it on the live stream. And uh, there's actually much more to this story that we didn't see um, that we're going to show you also. And I even have some stuff that that uh, Regan doesn't even know about. So this is all just happened, guys. I We we went down there to, to bond her out of jail. Um, the whole, Almost the entire Denver crew was there uh, to get her out. And wow, the entire Denver auditing community. That must have been quite the Homer Simpson convention. Morons and cameras everywhere. And um, we kind of just hauled ass back to the house to set up this panel as soon as we got her out. And so, like, there's stuff that Regan doesn't even know that I know, and there's stuff that, that I don't know. So we're kind of just jumping in this together, and we're just kind of playing it by ear. So I'm going to be learning as we're going here. So I, there's a lot that I don't know. So... Um, Regan, did you get that email to me? Um, it's uh, uploading it? right now. Okay. Um, there it is. Uh, I'm going to send you the link. But okay. uh, I want to talk about, uh, I want to just give a, a quick background. It's not yeah, that go ahead. complicated. Does... It's just another uh, dirty cop story. I mean, we're used to them. And let me tell you what went down today. I would do it again and again and again. I am in the process of busting this dirty ass cop. Okay. And like I said, so many things go on behind the scenes with my work and things that uh, people don't know that I'm doing. And I have a homeless couple. They're living in their vehicle with their animals and they called me up and said, Hey, um, you know, we're struggling anyway. We're trying our hardest to get out of this situation. I lost my job during COVID. I'm actively seeking employment. My husband's disabled. Uh, we're living on very limited income. And we got this cop harassing us out here. And we're scared and worried. But yet we want to stand up for ourselves. We all know you. We all know that you lie a lot. So we really don't trust anything that comes out of your mouth. But please continue they filed this complaint mid-august now we're into october last week i contacted ia and i didn't get a return phone call from ia but i got a return phone call from c sloan's lieutenant who told me he was going to be working on this and checking into some things and blah 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 i said first and foremost you need to fix this BS trespass that Jeremy and Crystal supposedly have. C. Sloan <coughs> works off duty over there at the King Supers. And there's a lot of uh, goofy stuff going on with how uh, Lieutenant DePoss, his boss, is trying to explain the situation. He said he watched some body cam footage and DePoss told crystal the woman that she couldn't come there anymore and because they had complaints he never said what the complaints were nobody from the store actually agreed it's at this time that dma realizes he's losing a lot of viewers so he's got to get him back on the screen and interject himself into the situation so the viewer count doesn't go any lower yeah sorry i'm just trying to do stuff over here um yeah it's crazy how the whole thing went down guys and and what was the man do you remember as you said on your live stream the manager's name in there so that uh, security guard said her name was angelique angelique thought, yeah. yeah i thought her and, name tag said angie and i'll tell you what king supers slash kroger 
Never a fucking dime in your store again. Do you know how much money I spend at King Supers? Mm -hmm. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I am I mean, done. It's, it's the main grocery store out here. I mean, that's where I go. And uh, well, they for them to do that. And, and I guess they, they don't want her there. And we don't know, but we think that Angelique initiated the, the police to come there in the first place. Because as soon as you guys came out, uh, Sloan was there in an instant trying to serve him with a trespassing uh, warning. And so it's crazy that, that you go in there, spend $170, and then they tr have you trespass out of there after you weren't even well, there I'm not, anymore. I'm not even trespassed. I, I don't even know what the hell's going on besides C. Sloan getting his balls yeah. shoved up into his throat. He's yep. pissed because he got caught. And and that's the thing. That's how trespassing works. You, you never were actually trespassed. You have to actually be trespassed because they told you to leave, but you they have to actually, don't they have to get your full name and everything else and officially trespass you? They can't just say leave, right? You know what? The fact that the store never asked me to leave and the fact that the cop clearly went in and solicited that trespass, I, I initially said to that security guard, I said, you know what? I'm probably going to comply with that since you named a store manager. But then as C. Sloan started to get dumber and dumber and wanted to continue to escalate after I told him to go back inside, he said he was being harassed and go the fuck back inside. We've got some static video that we're probably going to show where he tells me in the beginning, before I started live streaming, if you follow me in that store, I'm going to have you arrested. Okay, I didn't follow him in the fucking store. Excuse me. So I got a quick cussing. No, it's okay. <laughs> but I'm not gonna stop. I am not gonna stop cussing out these cops. No. I'm not. No, it was actually funny. I don't know who it was in the chat said I like how Regan uh, tones down her cussing or at least tries to for DMA. <laughs> okay, I'll just go. because you know, no, it's fine. You can cuss. It's just that uh, I don't care. Like, like people know when I'm out there, so a lot of times I'll try. I'll say like f this or whatever because I'm just not a big cusser like Regan. So. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. Well, so, I lost it until, you know, these cops started doing this kind of stuff. But the bottom line is, um, all I have is my words. And when you're out there, I've said this before, when you're out there in the heat of the moment like this, and there's nothing you can do to defend yourself, but use your words, you're going to use your words in situations when it's this blatant, what this cop is doing to this homeless couple. So did we want to watch the whole static video or... What's the decision on that? That's your call. Yeah. I mean, this is the beginning. This is after. Yeah. And I'll tell you to stop it where I think it needs to stop. Okay. okay. Is that so? Listen for my That's loud fine. Yeah. stop. That's where we picked up the live stream. That's where we picked so, up the live stream. I want to tell people what's going on precisely, what Aurora PD is doing right now. He and his lieutenant are colluding to charge Jeremy or Crystal so they have some substantial evidence to say that they had been trespassed. They are circumventing internal affairs, this lieutenant and this officer, who, by the way, C. Sloan, his card, read that. Professional Standards Section. Force Investigations Unit. They're colluding because they know they got caught in this internal affairs complaint. And so internal affairs, for whatever reason, is giving them an opportunity, this lieutenant and this C. Sloan, to try to handle this before the actual investigation gets started or concluded. They thought they were going to be able to ignore the whole thing because when Crystal filed the complaint, I simply told her to give her email address and to not give a phone number because, as you can see, they're looking for that opportunity to nail them because now there's an internal affairs complaint. So when that video, when that static ended, I picked up the live stream. So how much of that you want to go through? I didn't even get to watch it. I had no idea that it played that whole time. Yeah, I know you didn't. I could, I, because usually they just shut it off. And I don't know if they're supposed to do that, but um, usually they just shut it off. They shut mine off when I got arrested. So uh, let's I watch. 
not to let's, touch my fucking phone. You did. And I, maybe that's why they did that. Um, let's watch until you actually get arrested. It's, I think it's probably like 10 minutes. And then we'll save the rest for everyone else to go watch on their own. But let's at least watch this, the part that leads up to the arrest. So let me, uh, let me share this real quick. Okay, so here we go. And there it is, guys. That's, uh, hold on, let me share screen on that part. Oh, yeah, they can see it. So that's the uh, that's the card right there, too. And I have all that information in the description of this video. And trust me, guys, uh, we're going to also do how low can you go on the Aurora Police Department. We're probably going to skip back and forth between them and King Supers as well. Denver Metro Audits just released the hounds on these guys. The how low can you go reference was a call to action to his followers to start creating negative Yelp reviews for anybody who pisses off him or his followers or his Karens or whatever. So now you're going to have thousands upon thousands of Yelp reviews for that business that she got kicked out of. That is really pathetic. Um, on your own, uh, you can head on over there and basically Regan continues to let him have it for the next half hour or so on this one and uh there's a lot of egregious stuff that you'll hear uh, guys uh c sloan being condescending arrogant uh joking with his uh his other officers that oh you're you're gonna think this is hilarious what do you say this is gonna be entertaining, entertaining. for you to watch stuff mm -hmm. like that uh about the body cams or he about the, the live stream talk shit in the jail and the then yeah time. go ahead and tell them about what happened in the jail too about go ahead and we'll continue so, that gallegos, while i load up this other video so gallegos is the other cop um, he, uh, when the rubber meets the road, he's the arresting officer taking away my freedom. You know, he, of course, no, I'm just doing my job. I'm just the transport cop today. Blah, 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 blah. Right. So that was about a 10 minute drive of me yapping at him. We pull into the back of that jail and guess who's there already streaming K dot. <laughs> that was the best thing I could have seen in those 15 minutes because I had no idea. I wasn't looking at the stream. I didn't know who was in there. Ellie pretty much knew what I was doing today, but I don't ever know, you know, what's going on. Wow, did you just admit that you're totally clueless when it comes to your life? That you just wander around aimlessly? Well, hun, I don't know what to do about that. I don't know what to do with somebody who's that freaking clueless. Other than that, they processed me uh, pretty quick. Um, I am charged with... Uh, that was the other thing. I guess my bond changed uh, initially from 300 to 750 Let me grab this paperwork, DMA. Yeah, she, so initially it was 300 and they added the charge of harassment. So it ended up being 750. So while we're on that too, um, and she's getting her charges, we wanted to ask if anyone is able to donate to help Regan out with not only the bond, but um, she's no. going to have to. Uh-oh, DMA initiated full e-begging mode, but Regan is going to have to correct him on that, looks like. But by this time in his life, I think the e-begging is just Pavlovian classical conditioning. He just can't help it anymore. Hey, pal. And then I, more than likely, am going to take that and dump it right back into the nonprofit. If you want to give specifically to my nonprofit, you use my Venmo and my Cash App. And Ellie will put those in here. But as far as rallying money right now, because this happened, I'm going to ask you please to hold off. Because I, I, I just, I'm not okay with that. And that's my personal preference, okay? Um, if you decide you want to give to me and I leave it sit in there and then I decide, you know, yeah, maybe I'll get an attorney, then I'll let people know. I'm going to be honest about that, but this is not a time. I just, I just have a problem with it. So right here, it, this is all municipal. Okay. This is all municipal. I got charged under, uh, their trespass ordinances with 94-71. Refusal to leave when ordered. And then 
I got charged under their harassment municipal code of following in public. 94-42. Yeah, that's harassment. Following in public. Sorry, copper. Doesn't work that way. And uh, you're on duty. And uh, this whole trespass thing, you know what, King Supers? You didn't do it. So I guess we're going to trial. You let me shop in there. You talked to me a couple times. You never once asked me to leave. And I never heard from King Supers that I was asked to leave. That's that. I certainly have heard enough from her today. There's only so much of her I can take. And as far as this story goes, I don't trust her as far as I can throw her.